today's episode i will show you how to fix or get rid of the overheating problem in the sony a6000 not by using some kind of tricks or tips but it's, it'll be about thermal paste aluminum plates or another method whenever we're gonna get it inside for the job we're gonna need to deassemble the actual back plate lcd screen and we can keep the lens on it okay for the job we're gonna need to remove the battery flash card and uh, the actual divisor here starting from the bottom we're gonna need to remove two screws at the bottom nicely because most of the screws are different size right after we get in inside uh, of the battery panel there is two screws if you can see it one and the second one right there so another screw right at the corner here going to the left side one is under the cover and another one right at the left side next step two screws right under the flashlight and two screws under the visor we were ready to disassemble the top piece okay it's been broken already i did broke the actual top piece but whenever you undo all the screws it's going to be really easy just carefully pop the left side it'll be that way and then helping out with the other fingers to lever it up the right side. So it's gonna pop up. And we're gonna have here the actual connector. We just removing it. There is no plugs, no anything. You just have to pull it out. Just that. Right under the case, we have to remove uh, basically one screw. Another, another screw is right at that button here. The actually wiser uh, adjustment. So now it's loose. And that's it. There you have it. Next step, two screws at the front, right at the top. Then two screws at the bottom. And the last one, three screws at the right side, which is holding the actual bracket. Next step, we can remove the bracket. Then we need to unplug the actual connector which I left from the last side uh, last time it's the uh, same way like you're doing with the other ones and here you have to remove the actual these little buttons here these little knobs how do you call them and all up loose then we simply can take off the LCD, which is connected by the connector here. I'm not gonna be disattaching it because I already fixed all those things here. And right under the cover here, I have my plates, aluminum plates and the thermal paste. So the next thing I want to talk a little bit about that white piece, which is uh, basically thermal paste. Uh, looks like a gum or even feels like, but you can buy it from the eBay or Amazon. I will get you a link in the description how to get that piece. So basically what are you doing it? You bind the whole piece like that and place it right on the top of the actual micro ham in there and it's gonna prevent and it's gonna fix all those things what I've been uh, messing with the aluminum plate and you're not gonna be, you're not gonna need to use the thermal paste. I used a really thin uh, aluminum plate so I would love to double up 
or I'm gonna replace it for a thermal pad stem uh, so it's, it'll be easier but it's up to your choice using the either therm thermal paste with the aluminum plates either the thermal pad I will get you links in the description for all this stuff from that step if you wanna finish it up looking at how did I assemble this stuff back you can check it out if not I hope you liked the video please put the thumbs up button in there and leave me a comment below so right after I assemble the camera I place it on the bed on the pillow uh, close the screen close the uh, flashlight uh, set up the highest resolution highest options uh, which was the XA uh, VCS by 60 frames per second 50 max I use the new battery and I start recording it's been two hours like it it's still recording it's still working it did not shut down uh, the room temperature was around uh, 78 79 degrees the Fahrenheit and it's awesome I'm, I'm really happy with the same results I usually been getting to 30 40 uh, sometimes 50 minutes and it's been shutting out after all the temperature sign just pops up on the screen but the camera did not shut down and I don't know after 5-10 minutes it goes away and after a couple minutes it pops back on and then just goes away completely I assuming the I put too much thermal paste and it's still been uh, doing some kind of process in there so farther it'll be better but after all I'm gonna replace the aluminum plates for heat sticks anyway guys I hope you like the video I wish you a lot of luck and I hope you're not gonna break the top piece and not gonna forget to connect anything in there and time to turn that on and it's working focusing everything is working just fine <laughs>